Hello and welcome. I'm the Restless Kaiser. And I'm Johnny B. But together we are Modeling, Modeling for, for Advantage. Advantage. So, part two of a series of videos, we are looking at the starter and introductory sets yes. for 10th edition. Yep, we uh, obviously looked at the... We've done that one. Yep. We're going to do the big, big, big one later. Facts. Uh, so now we are going to look at... The middle one. The middle one, the handily called the starter set. This one retails for sixty-five pounds. The okay. introductory set was forty. 40. Pounds. This has got substantially more miniatures in it. Okay. This is a this is an hors d'oeuvre tray of miniatures, as I understand <laughs> nice. it. Nice. Do you want to crack it open, JB? Give it a go. We have built all of these miniatures uh, from the various boxes, so there'll be some stills through the video and some stuff at the end, so you can see what they look like. We'll talk a little bit about uh, what they were like to build. Oh. Contents. Mm. So this box contains a 64-page handbook, two reference sheets, that's a bonus, Damn. 10 whole dice, transfer sheet, two range rulers, one play mat, and you get 38 whole Citadel miniatures opposed to the 15, no, 16, because they count the little ripper swarms in right. the introductory yep. set. Yep. So that's, yeah, that's quite a, quite it's, a it's, few it's more. A Big uh, upscale, yeah. Okay, so as we go through the bits that are in it, then we'll talk about the bits that are not sprues. Yes, you yes, want to pull yes. the sprues out, and then we'll talk bits. about the sprues in All the details. Bits. All right, so uh, you get this lovely little sort of cardboard uh, folder to keep your dice in, and it's like wedding favors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you get uh, what have we got there? Are they Four, the same? eight, nine dice. There should be ten. Ten. There is ten. There's another one in there. There's a little bit of weight to them. They're not cracker dice. They're not exactly the same as the ones we saw on the others. The spots seem a little bit smaller. Right. But they probably buy these by the million. Yeah, you know it. All right, uh, there's your So you get dice. dice. That's a good start. I missed the sprue and I missed some bases. Oh. Little art insert with tokens. So these they put in because they, they have a job to do, which is to protect the paper and card underneath. Sometimes they work. Sometimes, Sometimes they, they work. don't. Yes. So this is quite sort of badly misshapen, but I think it has to do with the shape of the books underneath. This is quite a flimsy, this is quite a cheap box, yeah, yeah. actually, in terms of the cardboard the box is made out of. Um, you probably couldn't see me talking because it's just holding this in front of my face. It's a good voice though. And, it, and the, there are some like usable tokens on here, but they're all sort of curled up and mashed up, which is a little bit of a shame, but I guess... Once you get going in the game, most people aren't going to use those. No, no, not at all. More, More bases. bases. We've got our rule pack. We'll go through. Is this the... So you get a double-sided sheet, I'm guessing. Is it Is the same? the same play mat? It is the same play mat as you got with the introductory one, I think. Looks it. No, I think... Is it the same style, different. but different same design? Same style, but different design. Oh, even better. It might even be... Maybe you, you should use that. Can I get pull it out? Let's compare it. Be right back. Well, I never. Same but different. So this is the one in the uh, starter set, and that's the one from the introductory set. So they are different, but in the same style, which is great because you get both sets, and yep. you know if you build from one to the other, double sided as well. So that's good. You and two of these is like the thousand point game board size, I think. Okay. Or maybe the maybe the combat patrol board game size. Yeah, I'm not aware if those have changed, but no. they were like prescribed sizes yeah. of boards. Back in day. Decal sheet. Now you lo love a decal sheet. I do so love a decal the, sheet. Is this a new decal I, sheet? I, I believe so. New. Um, yeah, these have got quite different, including Raven Guard on here. You got your space walls. You got your big four. But you've got, you've got different coloured ones rather different. than all being white. There's like gold embellishments in there, there's mm. outlines. This is quite good. So it looks like a, it's a pretty standard Space Marine decal sheet, but it's But it's different. got a lot of variation on it. It's a new one. A couple of your flippy rulers. I like that. All right. And you put that there. Uh, the book. In, uh, in the sheath here, we got a couple of bits. Oh, it's got a lovely little, oh. little, little seal. Yeah, so you know it's, yeah. So you know it's Fresh. legit. Now, this, I really like play sheets. Yeah, I'm surprised they weren't in the introductory. With his stats. Box. Yeah, I mean, I think the introductory one is more aimed at new hobbyists. Completely new. Right. Completely, totally yeah, brand yeah, true, new. true, that is true. Whereas this is, this is maybe for more, more at converts. 
people moving over to from it from the previous edition, tenth. that kind of thing. But yeah, you've got, you got stats on there for the units that are in here, and you've got a, a rule book. And again, it follows the same style as the one we saw, the introductory one. Color-coded. Color-coded, great full color instructions. A much bigger green section at the back. More missions. Which is your, which is your missions, play. yeah. So, uh, th this what I like about these, and we haven't played this yet, but we're going to play through these mm. and video it, is tutorial types of movement, tutorial charging, you know, tutorial fighting. It takes you through things with worked examples step by step. Oh wow! And then sticks you in a and then sticks you in a mission. So we're gonna we're gonna try that. Yeah, I enjoy that goes. those. Yeah, and I think um, there are differences to the to the new edition, so it's worth knowing that. Um, but anyway, that's the paper and stuff. The big thing about this one, this is the set, sixty-five pounds, lot of miniatures. If you want to build the new versions of the the kind of tenth edition Tyranids or the new Terminators, they're or all whatever, in this. They're all in this. This is the kind of set that some players will buy several of to bulk out their force. Mm. So let's look closely at the miniature. Okay, well, every army needs a leader, so it's the top of the pile, so let's have a look. This is a dual sprue with a Terminator Captain and a Tyranid Prime, I believe they're called. Yep. Um, let me just have a look at the thing. Yeah, Tyranid Prime. Yep. Oosh! Lovely models. Uh, we have them built. Maybe they're spinning on your screen now, who knows? Have a look at this. This sprue is bowed. It's bowed. This sprue is bowed. Uh, that is that is a fact. Like they've put it in whilst it's still warm, under, or or just under pressure. Under stress. The box is quite cheap. Now, I don't actually think it's going to make any difference. I'd like to think the component pieces are fine. The, the pieces themselves, and it's the, just the sprue the frame, that's bowed. Sprue frame. I see yeah. what you mean now. I didn't notice that when yeah. I handed it's, it to it's, you. It's quite severe. Um, but yeah, th so this is the dual leader thing. Yes. They did they did this with the previous edition as well. All right, so they're cool. Uh, next, next up is, it would seem, the Tyranid Psychophage, I believe it's is this, a, is this a new monster? So it's it's very similar to some of the big old beasts they had before. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, as far as I'm aware, it's completely new. Right. Uh, and yeah, it's called a Psychophage. Now, what it actually does in game, who knows? Uh, mm. That's not for us to even consider. But we do have the sheets. We have the sheets. You keep talking and I'll read it. I'll try and keep talking. Psychophage. So... Yeah, it's quite tick-like, and it seems to have clouds of spores coming out of its back spine. Now, the name Psychophage, it's either psychic or it's a psychopath. Can you right. can you tell me <laughs> what does it, its rules say? Uh, has it, it, has an anti, it has anti-psyche right, so uh, as, like a, as a melee attack. Psychic smog. And it has hyper-regeneration aura. While friendly Tyranids are within six inches of this model, models in that unit have feel no pain six plus. That's good. So it's a nice it's a nice model to have embedded within your force. Get some keep some durable. Interesting. Alright? Yeah. Lovely. It's a nice little model that as well. It's it's eating and it's not a that space little. marine. No, it's not. It's it's actually quite a quite It's a on big, a single sprue, but it's quite like a chunk. It's like a giant tick, isn't it? Yeah. Big time. Uh, next sprue seems to be Von Ryan's Leapers. The mini... Uh, mini Lictors. Mini Lictors, sir. Mini Lictors. Which are lovely. These kits go together pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, and they've got that exact, pretty much exact same dynamic as the Lictor, you know, with the Mantis claws. Yes. Um, which is good to see. And I'd like to think you could have a stealthy Lictor and Von Ryan Leaper army. Mm. What do they look like on the stats? Uh, they have Pouncing Leap, though. Each time you select this unit for Heroic Intervention Stratagem, the CP cost of that stratagem is only one CP. Ooh. They have a six-up invulnerable save. They're, they're, uh, they're, they're curious. I, I don't know why you need them when there's already Lictors. And those other ones. You've got the little snaky raveners that can pop up out of nowhere. Yeah. And it seems like a lot of cross. Yeah, a lot of duplication. Yeah. Yeah, or whether they haven't yet, but maybe are planning to delete the Lictors down the line. I don't think it, so, it, because they they're, they've released... very similar. They've already shown uh, the new Lictor kit. Oh, there's a new Lictor kit? Including okay. uh, the special character one. There you go. I mean, that, that, that just baffles me. Yeah, that's odd. I'm not too sure. Perhaps, perhaps all will be revealed in the near future. They, as kits, they were okay? 
They're okay. I mean, they look, them, they look push fit. They are pretty much push fit. Yeah. Um, with a bit of glue. Interestingly, these are really well engineered considering the complexity of the model. Yeah. How relatively easy they go together. Few complications on some of the limbs where they're a bit long. Right. And the angle at which you need to put the, the plug in. You sometimes sort of misfire it a bit and then you yeah. wiggle it about and it will slot in. Yeah. And this is not cut all the pieces off the sprue and then put it back together. This is this is look for the for the very numbered much piece. so the numbered pieces yeah. yeah because it's that kind of monopause push fit yes that that things are at very funny angles um, I have that problem with the new Warcry set did you yeah I actually cut off one of the pegs thinking it was a bit of sprue gate. Yes, that is also a possibility you know, of doing, so be careful, extra so be, careful. Be careful with us. You're cleverer than I am, I'm sure, so that's Well, no, some of them, there's like a little peg and you've got to stick it in so its head's mm. floating in midair. But there you go. Uh, it seems like we're still on the Tyranid sprues. What's this? The Termigants. Yeah, the new Termigants. The new Termigants! They're the same. You've got some of these in front of us. They're the same, but Are they not bigger? So they, they do seem to be they seem a bigger. bit chonkier. But yeah. other than that, they're still hunched. They still have flesh borers, and they're most Ooh. probably still relatively useless. I think they're a lot. I think they're a lot better now. Uh, flesh borer. Um, no, it's actually not that, that remarkable no. as, a, as a weapon. <laughs> they're, no. they're, they're your grunts. That's what you get. Yeah. Next brew, we're changing it up, and we're going to the old flamey boys. So right. This is another type of intercessor, essentially, isn't it? Um, yes. But more specialised. So they've all got dirty, great flamers. Now, I expected to see a lot more of this when we went... So the thing about um, the whole Primaris thing mm. is it's something that was developed during the Horus Heresy and then forgotten about. Very much so. So it's got that similar sort of tactical and, style to it. And in the Horus Heresy, everybody in the unit has got the same equipment. Yeah, all bolt guns or, or all plasma auto guns cannons or whatever. Or, yeah, yeah, exactly right. I'd expected to see a lot more of this. Yeah. Like a unit type with just one weapon. Well, there you go. Um, and I know the intercessors are a bit like that. Sort um, of. Sort they, of. They've not quite... And the Hellblasters. Moved over so to it, the... Yeah. So we're, so we're sort of getting there now. Yeah. But I thought there'd be a whole train of these. Well, you got the plasma dudes, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. You got the, the battle dudes. Yeah. Now you've got flame. So dudes. the models, you you actually built them. Pri you already started priming. Them, I did. I primed them in anticipation. Um, so th this is also looks like a push fit kit. Yeah. yeah I it think is a you push can get fit away kit. With just pushing them together. So these are very monopoles again. Yeah. How, how did you find them as an as an assembly? Yeah. Uh, these weren't so bad. I think the sergeant was the most interesting one because. It's not like build torso, stick an arm on, stick an no, arm on. No, because it's got, got a lot of these cross yeah. and bits that go bits. through, and you need that bit to go through to yes. connect to the other bit. But as I say, these are very well engineered, so yeah. as long as you follow the steps... But every sergeant is going to look like that, because that's... Unfortunately. The, the real downside with that kind of dynamic monopose is everyone's in that same pose. Yes. Every sergeant. It's lovely, but you can never have more than one. Well, you can. But you can, but weird. it's going to look identical and, and, and in quite a specific way. Boom, so this What's really next? is value. Uh, it seems we have another 10 termigants, which I neglected to put the other ones. So you're getting yeah. 20 termigants. 20, That's a good zero, solid boom. base. That's a lot of termigants. For a nid army. Yes. Um, and then, well, I don't know if this is the best, but we've got these updated Terminators, sir. Uh, yeah, so you've got like every iteration of Terminator in your collection. Pretty much, John. all the way from first edition. Special. And, and, and they're going to be literally, yeah. So, like stop motion. Are they far away or? Yeah, <laughs> Big. absolutely. So these again are monopod. So you, I don't know if you can see here, you've like, you've got some feet on a base. Yes. And leg plates to which you plug in another part of the marine. So again, flexibility is very limited, right? Very limited. Um, They're going to look very specific. Beautiful miniatures, uh, but yeah. having more than one set, I think would just... You don't want a second set of these really. guys, no. I mean, you might do, but... So it's... There's every chance that they're going to do other sets of Terminators. I hope the so. question is whether this is this is, is the, that it that that's your tactical terminator? Yeah, and the the, the the other kits are like assault terminators or whatever else. I mean, there are a lot of weapons missing out of this yes. cyclone, heavy flamer. Yes, if they were to use this, but that might yeah. just be a separate because it's funny how they do this. It is it's, odd. Is they sometimes put unique monopole stuff in starter sets? Yes. Then they release a flexible kit later. Semi-flexible kit. <laughs> but other times they don't. 
Yeah, so it's not it's so not we, a given. No, it's it's difficult to know. It's difficult to know whether this is the only Terminators we're going to get for a while. Um, but you, you know, enjoyed building them? Yeah, again, I think some of those, um, you know, with the weird angles, like some of the, the plugs, If you, yeah. it's difficult sometimes to put the arm on. Yes. You think you've got it, but you haven't. Yeah. But again, if you just follow the instructions and uh, instructions, visualise it, then uh, yeah. everything will be fine. Dry fit everything, you know, that's, that, that's how that goes. So... You got your starter booklet, you got which your, is wonderful. You got your play mat, you, yep. you got your crib sheets, your dice, Beautiful. your rulers. Almost double the amount of miniatures. Yep, sixty-five quid by Games Workshop standards. Yeah, let's say, that's, not, not that's, just in general. It's reasonable for Games workshop. workshop standards. Lovely new decal sheet. Yeah, it's definitely expanded there. It's lovely. Uh, this is the, this is a collection filler. Um, I think so. Is it for the absolute noob? No, but got for the covered. Marines, I don't think it is. No, it's, more than this. It's monopost. You look at the, how dynamic this sergeant is. I don't want two of these guys in my army. No, so, and they're included in the initial introductory yeah, set, aren't absolutely. they? Absolutely. So you wouldn't buy that and this. Well, you would, but you're gonna you're gonna have well, two of these, doubles, aren't yeah. you? It's a better collection builder for the terminate for the Tyranids than it is for the Marines, just because of the nature of the posing. And you get more bang for your buck overall, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You, but I want to say this, you only want one of these. Yeah. As a Marine. Yeah. Whereas as a, t as a Tyranid, you might want several. <laughs> Just get them all and sell Because you're going to need, you know, if you want to go down that Hormagon, oh, Termagon route, yeah. you might want to have a hundred of them. Got Leapers, Psychophage, yeah, you've got lots of stuff to fill out your arm. So, 65 quid, I think it's I think it's decent. For what you're getting decent, there, from um, Games Workshop. The new Terminators, they are a lot bigger, aren't they? They're, uh, yeah, it's like you've zoomed in 0.2%. They're not like excessively not massive. They, they're noticeably but they are, bigger. Yes, they are noticeably they're noticeably bigger. It, it, they're in not. all dimensions. I guess so. And it almost looks like the dude would fit in the suit this time as well. Right, he's a bit, it looks a bit less squat. Not quite extended. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. There we go. I hope this uh, review was useful for you. If you are an existing player looking to start 10th edition, this is probably this is the, the one for you, I think. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. If you enjoyed what you'd seen, why don't you come check us out on modelingforadvantage.co.uk. There's loads of different ways you can support the channel over there, including merch, that kind of stuff.